Section 2. Driving safely. This section covers Vehicle inspection. Basic control of your vehicle. Shifting gears. Seeing. Communicating. Space management. Controlling your speed. Seeing hazards. Distracted driving. Aggressive driver slash road rage. Night driving and driver fatigue. Driving in fog. Winter driving. Hot weather driving. Railroad highway crossings. Mountain driving. Driving emergencies. Anti-lock braking systems. Skid control and recovery. Accident procedures. Fires. Alcohol, other drugs and driving. Hazardous materials rules. This section contains knowledge and safe driving information that all commercial drivers should know. You must pass a test on this information to get a CDL. This section does not have specific information on air brakes, combination vehicles doubles, or passenger vehicles. When preparing for the vehicle inspection test, you must review the material in section 11, in addition to the information in this section. This section does have basic information on hazardous materials, OSMAT, that all drivers should know. If you need a OSMAT endorsement, you should study section 9. 2.1 Vehicle Inspection 2.1.1 Why Inspect? Safety is the most important reason you inspect your vehicle, safety for yourself and for other road users. A vehicle defect found during an inspection could save you problems later. You could have a breakdown on the road that will cost time and dollars, or even worse, a crash caused by the defect. Federal and state laws require that drivers inspect their vehicles. Federal and state inspectors also may inspect your vehicles. If they judge the vehicle to be unsafe, they will put it out of service until it is fixed. 2.1.2 Types of Vehicle Inspection Vehicle Inspection A vehicle inspection will help you find problems that could cause a crash or breakdown. During a trip For safety you should, watch gauges for signs of trouble. Use your senses to check for problems, look, listen, smell, feel. Check critical items when you stop. Tires, wheels and rims. Brakes. Lights and reflectors. Brake and electrical connections to trailer. Trailer coupling devices. Cargo securement devices. After trip inspection and report. You should do an after trip inspection at the end of the trip, day, or tour of duty on each vehicle you operated. It may include filling out a vehicle condition report listing any problems you find. The inspection report helps a motor carrier know when the vehicle needs repairs. 2.1.3 What to look for Tire problems Too much or too little air pressure Bad wear You need at least 4 30 seconds of an inch tread depth in every major groove on front tires. You need 2 30 seconds of an inch on other tires. No fabric should show through the tread or sidewall. Cuts or other damage. Tread separation. Dual tires that come in contact with each other or parts of the vehicle. Mismatch sizes. Radial and bias ply tires used together. Cut or cracked valve stems. Regrooved, recapped, or retreaded tires on the front wheels of a bus are prohibited. Wheel and rim problems. Damaged rims. Rust around wheel nuts may mean the nuts are loose. Check tightness. After a tire has been changed, stop a short while later, and recheck tightness of nuts. Missing clamps, spacers, studs, or lugs means danger. Mismatched, bent, or cracked lock rings are dangerous. Wheels or rims that have had welding repairs are not safe. Bad brake drums or shoes. Cracked drums. Shoes or pads with oil, grease, or brake fluid on them. Shoes worn dangerously thin, missing, or broken. Steering system defects. Missing nuts, bolts, cutter keys, or other parts. Bent loose, or broken parts, such as steering column, steering gearbox, or tie rods. If power steering equipped, check hoses, pumps, and fluid level, check for leaks. Steering will play of more than 10 degrees, approximately 2 inches movement at the rim of a 20 inch steering wheel, can make it hard to steer. See figure 2.1. Suspension system defects. The suspension system holds up the vehicle and its load. It keeps the axles in place. 
Therefore, broken suspension parts can be extremely dangerous. Look for spring hangers that allow movement of axle from proper position. See figure 2.2. Cracked or broken spring hangers. Missing or broken leaves in any leaf spring. If one fourth or more are missing, it will put the vehicle out of service, but any defect could be dangerous. See figure 2.3. Broken leaves in a multi-leaf spring or leaves that have shifted so they might hit a tire or other part. Leaking shock absorbers. Torque rod or arm, U-bolts, spring hangers, or other axle positioning parts that are cracked, damaged, or missing. Air suspension systems that are damaged and or leaking. See figure 2.4. Any loose, cracked, broken, or missing frame members. Exhaust system defects. A broken exhaust system can let poison fumes into the cab or sleeper berth. Look for, loose, broken, or missing exhaust pipes, mufflers, tailpipes, or vertical stacks. Loose, broken, or missing mounting brackets, clamps, bolts, or nuts. Exhaust system parts rubbing against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of vehicle. Exhaust system parts that are leaking. Emergency equipment. Vehicles must be equipped with emergency equipment. Look for fire extinguisher slash extinguishers. Spare electrical fuses, unless equipped with circuit breakers. Warning devices for parked vehicles, three reflective triangles or at least six fusees or three liquid burning flares. Cargo, trucks. You must make sure the truck is not overloaded and the cargo is balanced and secured before each trip. If the cargo contains hazardous materials, you must inspect for proper papers and placarding. 2.1.4 CDL Vehicle Inspection Test In order to obtain a CDL, you will be required to pass a vehicle inspection test. You will be tested to see if you know whether your vehicle is safe to drive. You will be asked to do a vehicle inspection of your vehicle. You must point to slash touch and name the item you are inspecting and explain to the examiner what you would inspect and why. The following 7-step inspection method should be useful. 2.1.5, 7-step inspection method. Method of inspection. You should do a vehicle inspection the same way each time so you will learn all the steps and be less likely to forget something. Approaching the vehicle. Notice general condition. Look for damage or vehicle leaning to one side. Look under the vehicle for fresh oil, coolant grease, or fuel leaks. Check the area around the vehicle for hazards to vehicle movement, people, other vehicles, objects, low hanging wires, limbs, etc. Vehicle Inspection Guide Step 1 Vehicle Overview Review last vehicle inspection report. Drivers may have to make a vehicle inspection report in writing each day. The motor carrier must repair any items in the report that affect safety and certify on the report that repairs were made or were unnecessary. You must sign the report only if defects were noted and certified to be repaired or not needed to be repaired. Step 2. Check engine compartment. Check that the parking brakes are on and or wheels chalked. You may have to raise the hood, tilt the cab, secure loose things so they don't fall and break something, or open the engine compartment door. Check the following. Engine oil level. Coolant level in radiator. Condition of hoses. Power steering fluid level. Hose condition, if so equipped. Windshield washer fluid level. Battery fluid level, connections and tie downs, battery may be located elsewhere. Automatic transmission fluid level, may require engine to be running. Check belts for tightness and excessive wear, alternator, water pump, air compressor. Learn how much give the belts should have when adjusted right, and check each one. Leaks in the engine compartment, fuel, coolant, oil, power steering fluid, hydraulic fluid, battery fluid. Cracked, worn electrical wiring insulation. Lower and secure hood, cab, or engine compartment door. Step 3, start engine and inspect inside the cab. Get in and start engine. Make sure parking brake is on. Put gear shift in neutral or park if automatic. Start engine, listen for unusual noises. If equipped, Check the anti-lock braking system, ABS, indicator lights. Light on dash should come on and then turn off. If it stays on the ABS is not working properly. For trailers only, if the yellow light on the left rear of the trailer stays on, the ABS is not working properly. 
Look at the gauges. Oil pressure. Should come up to normal within seconds after engine is started. See figure 2.5. Air pressure. Pressure should build from 50 to 90 pounds per square inch within 3 minutes. Build air pressure to governor cutout, usually around 120 to 140 pounds per square inch. Know your vehicle's requirements. Ammeter and or voltmeter. Should be in normal ranges. Coolant temperature. Should begin gradual rise to normal operating range. Engine oil temperature. Should begin gradual rise to normal operating range. Warning lights and buzzers. Oil, coolant, charging circuit warning, and an anti-lock brake system lights should go out right away. Check condition of controls. Check all of the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper setting. Steering wheel. Clutch. Accelerator, gas pedal. Brake controls. Foot brake. Trailer brake, if vehicle has one. Parking brake. Retarder controls, if vehicle has them. Transmission controls. Interaxle differential lock, if vehicle has one. Horns. Windshield wiper slash washer. Lights. Headlights. Dimmer switch. Turn signal. Four-way flashers. Parking clearance identification marker. Switch slash switches. Check mirrors and windshield. Inspect mirrors and windshield for cracks, dirt, illegal stickers, or other obstructions to seen clearly. Clean and adjust as necessary. Check emergency equipment. Check for safety equipment. Spare electrical fuses, unless vehicle has circuit breakers. Three red reflective triangles, six fuses or three liquid burning flares. Properly charged and rated fire extinguisher. Check for optional items such as Chains, where winter conditions require. Tire changing equipment. List of emergency phone numbers. Accident reporting kit, packet. Step 3, start engine and inspect inside the cab. Get in and start engine. Make sure parking brake is on. Put gear shift in neutral or park if automatic. Start engine, listen for unusual noises. If equipped, check the anti-lock braking system, ABS, indicator lights. Light on dash should come on and then turn off. If it stays on the ABS is not working properly. For trailers only, if the yellow light on the left rear of the trailer stays on, the ABS is not working properly. Look at the gauges. Oil pressure. Should come up to normal within seconds after engine is started. See figure 2.5. Air pressure. Pressure should build from 50 to 90 pounds per square inch within 3 minutes. Build air pressure to governor cutout, usually around 120 to 140 pounds per square inch. Know your vehicle's requirements. Ammeter and or voltmeter. Should be in normal ranges. Coolant temperature. Should begin gradual rise to normal operating range. Engine oil temperature. Should begin gradual rise to normal operating range. Warning lights and buzzers. Oil, coolant, charging circuit warning, and an anti-lock brake system lights should go out right away. Check condition of controls. Check all of the following for looseness, sticking, damage, or improper setting. Steering wheel. Clutch. Accelerator, gas pedal. Brake controls. Foot brake. Trailer brake, if vehicle has one. Parking brake. Retarder controls, if vehicle has them. Transmission controls. Interaxle differential lock, if vehicle has one. Horns. Windshield wiper slash washer. Lights. Headlights. Dimmer switch. Turn signal. Four-way flashers. Parking clearance identification marker. Switch slash switches. Check mirrors and windshield. Inspect mirrors and windshield for cracks, dirt, illegal stickers, or other obstructions to seen clearly. Clean and adjust as necessary. Check emergency equipment. Check for safety equipment. Spare electrical fuses, unless vehicle has circuit breakers. Three red reflective triangles, six fuses or three liquid burning flares. 
properly charged and rated fire extinguisher. Check for optional items such as chains, where winter conditions require, tire changing equipment, list of emergency phone numbers, accident reporting kit, packet,